What's going on, everybody? Hopefully your weekend went well. Um, I was busy, busy at the card show. And I don't know if I said in the last uh, video I did, I had to go buy new SD cards for my, uh, uh, what do you call this thing, GoPro Hero 9 something. Well, to find out, couldn't get any of them to work. So I ended up calling GoPro up, spent two hours on the phone with the lady because English was not her primary language, which I will say this much. We broke the communication barrier very, it took a little bit, but we worked well together and we were able to figure it out. I guess the if you guys ever buy a GoPro Hero 9, don't format the card off the camera. They shouldn't even have that as an option, in my opinion. You actually have to hook the SD card up to your computer to format it. But there's a way around it because I didn't have one of the attachments to put an SD card directly in. Just leave it in your, you know, GoPro and format it through the computer that way. So it took a while, but we got it. We got it. So I was able to get footage this time. I was really happy about it. I didn't capture all the deals. I caught two of my earlier deals, I believe you'll see on there. The Josh Allen RPA did sell. Um, and I think there was a Crosby. I think I forget to flash it to camera real quick. Uh, relic that was a double I had. But I did pick up some nice stuff at it. Uh, the Derby City Card Show is one I will always set up at every other month. It's a great show overall. I always um, am able to move a lot of cards there. At the same time, I'm usually able to pick up some really nice pieces, which I did this time as well. But I'm going to go ahead and cut to a short clip of the show real quick. You guys are going to see a ton of Kyler Murray's and... Uh, Oh, there's some uh, origin, like, I think it's either six or eight player autographs and stuff. So definitely different stuff. Still seeing a lot of the same stuff at tables, too. But I'm going to cut to that, and I'll come right back. All right, pretty cool stuff overall. The one gentleman is strictly an eBay seller, and he said all those items were in his eBay store. So if anybody's interested, go for it. Um, you don't have to send him anything about me referring him or nothing like that. But it was just one of those things uh, there. So we're going to start 
with one of my last pickups of the day. If you follow me on Instagram, I was posting this stuff because, yes, I know I need to be more active on Instagram. Had somebody walk up to the table. Um, I'd probably say a younger person offhand, I mean, under the age 18. And his dad was standing by the door. I guess he was trying to get money for a card. Went through his stuff. He was kind of set firm on price, on eBay prices. But I was able to pick this up for him at a very, very good price. Uh, sorry. Case a little foggy on to. It's going to go off to be graded. It'll probably be a 7 or 8. But Kobe's stuff to me just needs to go get graded um, regardless of it. This card here probably pushes raw about 100 bucks. So if I ate it, it'll be a little bit more just because it being a thicker stock card. But I explained to him that when I buy something, I have to know that I'm going to grade it at 50 and at least either come close to breaking even or make profit on. So we worked it up. He was happy he got money towards his card. And I was happy because I picked up this Kobe. This is from Court Kings. When I first looked at this, I, I don't know why I thought it was upper deck. Uh, probably because I saw Hardwood Heroes. I think that upper deck Hardwood from back in the day. But it's 2010 out of 299 Really, really good pickup. Like I said, it'd probably get a 7 or 8 on to it. it. It may do an 8, which I'll be happy with. Um, you guys will see some pickups I got coming in the mail. And I'm only going to do them once a week because I got a couple things coming to UPS store. And a couple things going to P.O. Box. And I, I'll, so I'm going to start doing small little, uh, what do you call them, things, shorts on YouTube. So uh, Jacob from the Monster Den now is on Whatnot. And he was he's doing breaks mostly, but he had a nice sell last night. I ended up picking up two cards in auction. All right. That was a buy. I did a trade yesterday, too. Um, that was for the... Cro crochet crotchet 101 bowman sterling i pulled and oh gosh i forget the other card now something else i, I can't remember joey will tell me because I, I really don't remember offhand um i hate to go back and just like pull up my phone to look but now i am because i'm kind of uh i don't want to hate to use the word anal retentive on this stuff but it's just one of those things. Oh, it's for the Jacob Eason out of 10 that I had from uh, Prism, um, the Prism Black Gold, they called it. It was one to come out of Chronicles. So I picked these two up. The highlight of it was I wanted this here, Carmelo Anthony. This is from SP Authentic, and again, hold on, I'll get the focus right for you guys. There we go. 30 out of 30, game-worn patch. Yeah, the auto is off a little bit on the bottom there, but what I like about it, it's upper deck. He's in a Nuggets uniform. Uh, more than likely another 8 because I see Whiting on the corners and stuff. I mean, maybe possibly a 7 on to it, but I'm going to get this graded too uh, just because it came in a trade, and I was in very, very low on both of those cards I traded. Then uh, we had to throw something else in. I took this. This is not a super. This is a gold vinyl Lindor uh, prism. I want to say it's seven, 2017, too, out of five. Joey thinks I should get it graded. I may. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll see where I'm at on to it by then. But I possibly may grade it. I'll take a look at it and see what I think offhand. So two cards out of a trade. Pretty cool stuff right there. Early in the show, uh, I want to say it was prior to selling to Josh Allen, like minutes before. This guy here was this, the guy who bought my Josh Allen was the same guy who bought the Tatis uh, logo man that I had from Defendive last year to one hundred and one. So it was pretty good to be able to work the bigger deals out with people there. I, I also had a couple of the Griffey sale and stuff like that with people I've done bigger deals with. So really good. If I picked these up, a new vendor was there. I know this is this year's mosaic. They're hitting like two to three a case, but I couldn't pass these up. Durant, you know, is just a monster. I'm always going to be high on to him. Uh, I'm going to set these to be graded regardless if they nine or ten. The Steph Curry here, I know his stuff has dropped because he's been injured. Let me, there we go. But I think this here 
will do well when he returns. But I like this year's stained glass. It's just really nice looking overall. I want, I never liked the one where it was just like in the middle here at the window with all the silver going around it. But I do like the look of these. So I picked both these up. Very, very good price. Um, you know, I, I want to say it was about 20% off of eBay is what he sold me both of these for this table. So again, really, really happy. I had There were a couple other cards I wanted there. And when I walked down at lunchtime, they were gone already. Almost went crazy and bought a blue Mayor Auto off him from first Bowen, but I, I'm not good at prospecting. So these two cards here were a little bit of a cash and trade. A buddy of mine lives down the road. He uh, a lot of times takes all my base cards that I, from the box openings, you know, and he does sports lots with it. So we did a little cash and trade. Um, he had two of these. I, there was one with another red patch here, but I went with the three different colors. This is Kobe, LeBron, and McGrady. This one, I think, was also in a better condition. I don't think it's going to nine. It may be very, very close to a nine. But again, another good piece of history from 07, 08. These were not numbered, but... Really, really were harder to hit with the triples on to it, especially with Kobe, LeBron. I, I also like the gold because of the uh, Cavs stuff instead of having the, the red piece there. And finally, Steve Young. Or, yeah, Steve Young. I, I was sitting there looking at it, and all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute. Steve Young, this is from the very – holy cow. There we go. Um, Don Russ, Preferred Signatures. Card number 401. Or maybe that's a serial number 401. It says 1 out of 15. I forget. He was telling me about it. It's 99 Don Russ. Um, during this time frame in 99, I can't remember what I was doing. I think I was just Jordan collecting and probably bartending to pay off my divorce. But I didn't remember these. But I really liked the way it looked. It's a nice clean auto, too, onto it. As you can see right here, if I pull it up. Really, really nice on to it. Um, gave me a good deal with the trade-in and everything like that that I couldn't pass up. And I'm going to get it graded again. Honestly, if I if I would 10 or 9-something out of here minus these here, um, I would be shocked. I mean, I would be probably ecstatic on to it. The, shame, the, th the thing about Steve Young, it's a shame that he's not with more traction with his uh, stuff for sale. But, you know, I guess it is what it is in the long run on to it. Um, always nice to find stuff like this out there that's not like, you know, three, four hundred dollars people want for a Steve Young auto. But something different, you know, to hold on to. And then once it's graded, people always are like, ooh, uh, on to it. All right. Now we go to the best part of the show other than me blabbing on. Um, people always ask me trends that I've seen at this show. I did not see a lot of people buying basketball at all. I probably sold two or three basketball cards out, like the 20 different cards I sold. Um, a lot of people are out looking at football now because we're in the offseason, smart time to buy. And I kind of I kind of like cut out the conversation out of the gentleman that bought the Josh Allen RP, but his, his was a sub mentality as me, buy the players when they're injured. You know, type deal because of uh, the prices drop and you have some room. Now, I'm not saying buy everyone like Zion, but Curry, I mean, he's already cemented in his legacy. But, uh, you know, buy in the off season when stuff is, you know, starting to become forgotten. That way, you know, you have room to, you know, invest if you want to call it that or, you know, have your short long term holds or PC collecting with it. But a lot of baseball. This time, and I'm guessing because of it being so new that the strike or holdout was over, a lot of baseball was going for a change. And normally, I don't sell a lot of baseball unless it's something rare, you know, low numbered autograph at these shows. But it was definitely nice to see a lot of baseball go. Uh, still seeing a lot of retail out there across the tables galore. And I still see a lot of stuff overpriced. I, I really enjoy when people, uh, you go to somebody's table and they have their stuff priced already instead of looking everything up on eBay. 
because then you could you don't have to stand there for five to ten minutes of awkward silence while they're trying to look stuff up. Well, I've already done it, you know, and try, and I know where I want to be at price wise onto it. So just just a little food for a thought. Either if you're not going to throw price tags out in your cards, at least have a sheet you can reference real quick there or something. Because when you're sitting there looking up every single card as a dealer, and I'm sitting there trying to buy, it's kind of like that awkward piece of the whole thing. And then when they're like, oh, well, they've been selling between 120 and 130, about 120. I mean, nobody's going to give you 120 max eBay on anything anymore unless it's something very rare and sought after right now. Everybody's looking at like 10 to 15 percent, you know, difference. Um, one last food for thought. I'm just moving some tape over out of my way here is if you do set up at a show, get there as early as you can to set up. That way you're already set up and you see, you'll see other dealers slowly rolling in. But do a walk around to see what other dealers have. If you notice other people have the same exact stuff as you, it's going to be competition. And if you don't like the Josh Allen RPA, nobody else had one in there but me. I know that off bat. Um, but when you start knowing that you're the only person like that has hockey in there and, you know, bringing better hockey names and WWE stuff, and that's what people are looking for. You kind of have more of an advantage of saying, no, nah, I'm at 10 percent off, you know, or 5 percent and stuff like that instead of, you know, the where everybody wants these big bulk deals at, because then. It kind of makes the person go back and think, you know, well, I'm going to have to buy this on eBay, pay 6% sales tax, possibly shipping. Yeah, this is pretty fair here onto it. But just food for the thought if you're starting to set up at shows and stuff, you know, hopefully you bring somebody with you or you know the dealers to your left and right to where you can go ahead and walk around and just take a quick look. I mean, look through people's displays and stuff. See if you see what you have there and their thing. Because then it brings competition in there, um, especially when you're starting to talk about all that retail stuff and it's really high priced. It's just not going to move. It's plentiful. But just want to throw it out a little bit of food for the thought type deal. But all right, guys. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. I'm going to go up as a buyer to this next Louisville show on Saturday. Um, it's looking like starting May through September, I will be doing my own extreme road show <laughs> where i'll be going and setting up a lot more uh i'll be having my mom back down here for the summer so she can sit back here sign for packages and all that stuff for me and i'll be good so it'll be some better content and i'm starting to really uh figure out that gopro from a dealer's standpoint i guess in a way but, all right take care see y'all next video